when Eric Paulson brought Dave to Fats House. And when these two living legends got together, it was magic. Fats is 82. Dave turns 90 next month. But they felt like teenagers when they saw each other. Look who's here. Hey, Quine. What I gave me shocked up. How you doing? Yeah. Sure, nice to see you, man. Jesus. I ain't seen you since last time, dude. Fats Domino and Dave Bartholomew go back a long way. Dave met Fats back in 1949 at a little club in the Ninth Ward and was amazed by his talent on the piano. Within a week and a half, they were at Cosmo Matassa's J&M studio on Rampart Street, making a record that arguably is one of, if not the, first rock and roll song. Well, you know, so he he man, so we just start carrying on. Them just, just back at home again. The song "The Fat Man" started it all, <laughs> and 61 years later, these two have still got it. From there, it was hit after hit after hit. The collaboration of Dave Bartholomew, Fats Domino, and Cosimo Matassa turned out to be magic. There's no doubt about it. There'd be no Fats Domino without Dave Bartholomew. There'd be no Dave Bartholomew without Fats Domino. And there'd be no Fats and Dave without Cosimo Matassa. That's why I shake on that. I'm a good friend. Oh, was I was, I was yeah. more we, we ain't shooting any years. He was good to. Well, that's what's wrong with him. That's, yeah, what's wrong what, with what, you guys? Yeah, why were you shaking hands in years? That's why I went to shake hands because we, was, oh, we, we understand you, life. Now that we got older, you still we understand life. We're supposed to shake hands. Back in the old days, much of their music was not something they toiled over to write. It was a couple of guys having fun and jamming, and something would just happen. They're like, don't, don't, don't. You say, you say, don't, don't. Don't, 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 don't stop that nothing. And then and out of a clear blue sky, you start saying, I'm walking, yes, indeed, talking, but we can find the rest of the world, and we said we're going in that in New Orleans, but we, we just was jamming because we were having so much fun. They had to get back to New Orleans to finish I'm Walking because this is where the music was. In other words, just we always had an awful lot of rhythm in our, in our, in our world, plus the blues. And quite natural, New Orleans being known for its second line, we considered that too. And with that, and what we added to it, we were very lucky and went over big. And one of their biggest songs they didn't even write, but are best remembered for, an old song that even the great Louis Armstrong had done. But when Fats and Dave did Blueberry Hill, it became a rock and roll classic. So it's fitting that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will honor these two legends of this great American music genre. All started by these two men jamming on a piano and a horn. You still got it, man. You, you, you still got it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Fats and Dave, the kings of rock and roll. Eric Paulson, Eyewitness News, Nightwatch. You're uptown today, but the cast.